Are you constantly running out of space on your iPhone because you have too much media on it and you're tired of overpaying for all that iPhone storage? This has happened to me plenty of times being a content creator. How many of you actually go back and clean up the photos that you shot or even go back and even look at the photos, period. And the usual solution is just to go and buy an iPhone that has more storage and shell out more money to Apple. I'm tired of shelling out money to Apple every time I wanna upgrade my iPhone. It's just too expensive. So I've taken consideration on how I manage the storage on my iPhone. And one of the best solutions that I've come across is an app called Swipe. Now you could just go through your iPhone's camera roll, select the photos, maybe click on them, see if you wanna delete them, back out, select the photos, delete them. It's really just a clunky process. And from there, you have to go to the recently deleted photos and then actually confirm that you want all those photos deleted and they're gone once and for all. So that's why Swipe is so useful to me. This app turns the whole process into a game. It uses AI to sort out your best photos and declutter your gallery, saving you a ton of storage space and time. How it works is you start off by choosing a year and a month that you wanna go through. And then Swipe starts feeding you photos and you decide if you wanna keep it or delete it. And you do this by swiping swiping left or right. It's like Tinder for your photos. And you can keep track of how many more elements you need to go through at the top while you're swiping left or right. And then with that, there's a counter for how much data you've saved during that month. And while you're sorting, Swipe uses AI to score your photos based on aesthetics and technical qualities. Your best photos appear on the bottom and you can choose them anytime the process, anytime you want to review them. And when you're finished with a month, you get a photo of the month that the AI chooses as your best photo. The last step is to confirm your deleted selections with the trash tab on the bottom of the app. And this area lets you decide if you want to actually delete the photos or recover some of them if you accidentally deleted them. And once you've confirmed that you've deleted them, a fun animation pops up and it shows you the total amount of space you saved. And it also totals the entire amount that you've saved using the swipe app. Another cool feature that it has is the animations when it finds a top photo or when you delete photos. It's just like a confetti that pops up and it makes the app really robust and fun. The app has an overview that breaks down stats that are relevant to your iPhone storage. For instance, it'll tell you how many photos that you've swiped through and how many more you still have to swipe. It also gives you a breakdown of what media takes up how much storage on your iPhone, such as your photos, videos, or live photos. There's also a feature to delete similar photos and similar videos. Essentially, the AI finds duplicates or near duplicates and allows you to quickly delete them. And of the photos that you have swiped, there's a best of section that allows you to view the top scoring photos that you've ever swiped. The only drawbacks to this app is honestly the video video management. It was made mainly for photos. I wish I had the option to swipe left or right on videos, but right now the only way that you can manage your videos is through the similar section. Maybe in the future they'll incorporate a videos option so I can swipe left or right on the video. Another mandatory drawback is you still have to go through and make a decision whether you want to keep or delete a photo. There's no magic or mind reading that the app will be able to tell what you do and do not want, but the app just makes it way easier for you to make those decisions. So essentially this is the most efficient way to handle your photo storage on your iPhone without having to go back and upgrade storage year after year. It really helps declutter your photo gallery and it's super fun to use. If you want to try it out, I'm going to leave a link to it in my description down below. And as always, subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.